Um, so it started in a book club. Um, it was a book club in the university and we were supposed to discuss these really complex theories of power and, and, and inequalities. Um, I think the conversation sort of was very limited to a few people at the table and especially people of colour were just not included in those conversations. So I was really mad and um, I did what a lot of people do these days, just went back and tweeted about it. Um, Some people from the Centre for Equity and Inclusion saw the tweet and um, yeah, they just wanted to hear my story and see how we could sort of counter these spaces of exclusion. Um, and that's how the idea of creating a blog space came about. Um, As marginalised people, we are, even if we are included, we are always included in white dominant spaces um, and we're not allowed to sort of create and claim our own spaces. So I think I see this blog as a space that where we have taken this initiative to have a space of our own I think a lot of times when, when we encounter these sort of experiences of racism, we feel really sad and angry and enraged. Well, I felt really angry and I was enraged. Um, one of the ways that I see this blog space is to sort of like have that space of expressing rage or feeling that rage because I've always seen people of colour are sort of expected that we, you know, make sense of our rage, we rationalise our rage, we make like really fancy theories out of our rage, uh, we go to panels and talk about racism and experiences in the UK. I mean all of that is important but I think at some level I also need to feel it uh, in my body. Um, when sort of like educational structures and our society in general does not support that sort of um, feeling uh, and does not give us that space to feel our rage, um, I think it can lead to the disembodiment of our rage. So what I see the space, uh, this blog as, is sort of a means to write about our rage uh, while feeling it, it, it doesn't have to make a lot of, I don't know, it doesn't have to be full of academic jargons and like really complicated language. Just want it to be simple, just want uh, people to be able to express without feeling unsafe, I guess. Um, but I also want to make sure that everybody knows that this space is not I don't know it's not a radical promise of change and and I don't think and I don't think that I'm I'm promising that at all for that I think you need to like go on the street I don't know just do your best protest be there for people who are more marginalized than you are speak up um, yeah and and that cannot that cannot happen in a day or with a with a blog um, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have a space like this. Um, we should always remember that liberation cannot happen in isolation. It has to happen together. It has to happen in a collective. And, and yeah, this, this space sort of is a space to imagine those ways of liberating ourselves and creating collectives, empowering each other, being there for each other, listening to each other, and uh, yeah, at the end of the day, not feeling isolated, alone, I guess.